Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 8th, 2022 from John chapter 6, Comfort Food, part 4. Previously, we heard that Jesus fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and a couple of fish. The people then tried to make Jesus their king because their stomachs were full, but Jesus leaves the crowd. The crowd then follows Jesus, and Jesus tells them they're following him because they got fed, not because Jesus is the Son of God. So Jesus starts teaching them more about how he is the Son of God, and we may be surprised eventually with the crowd's reaction. Jesus then says the controversial words, I am the bread of life. So let's continue this narrative from John chapter 6, verse 41. So the Jews grumbled about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? Now the crowd is getting a little fickle. They wanted to make him king, but now he's talking like he's God and they start grumbling. Just like the people of Israel during the time of Moses, they also grumbled against God. Verse 43, Jesus answered them, do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. Verse 45, it is written in the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Again, Jesus is reaffirming that he is the Son of God, and there's that little hint in there. Jesus is telling them, you really can't believe and trust in me unless the Father called you. Yes, there's got to be a softening of our hearts, and that only comes from God. Verse 47, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Verse 49, your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. Verse 51, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Oh, I love these words of Jesus. And the bread that I give for the life of the world is my flesh. You have bread and you have the flesh of Jesus, just like in the Lord's Supper, as Jesus says in Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body. And he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. With these words from Matthew, many people ask, how can the body of Jesus be in the bread of the Lord's Supper? Strangely enough, that question was similarly asked by the crowd when they heard it from Jesus, from John chapter 6, verse 52. The Jews then disputed among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So let's pick up the answer that Jesus, our Lord and Savior, gives to us. Verse 53. So Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Wow. Talk about true comfort food. Food from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, his body, his blood, which brings us forgiveness of sins and 
eternal life. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.